everyone, Darren here at the Seco Science Center, and today I wanted to show you one of my favorite creatures here at the Seco Science Center, the horseshoe crab. First and foremost, horseshoe crabs don't look like much of anything from up the top. They almost look like a rock when they're in the water in the ocean or in estuaries like the Great Bay Estuary. But if we flip the horseshoe crab over a little bit gently and in the light, you can see there's a lot going on underneath that big shell of theirs. What do you think that shell is there for? What do you notice about its legs? Do these legs remind you of any other animal in the world? Maybe it reminds you of a animal you might find inside of your house that you don't necessarily want in there. Maybe it reminds you of an animal that you could find out in the desert and would not want to be stung by. You betcha, horseshoe crabs are more closely related to spiders and scorpions than they are to any real true crab. How did they get their crab name? Well, what do you think? They kind of look like crabs to whoever named them a long time ago. What about the name for horseshoe? Can anybody, by looking at this here horseshoe crab in my hand, guess why it would be named a horseshoe crab? And if I show you, once he bends his tail the opposite way that he is now, he will show you a certain shape. Horseshoe crabs have been on Earth for longer than any dinosaur you can think of. What's your favorite dinosaur? The horseshoe crab is older than that dinosaur. They have been on Earth for 350 million years. They've been around for so long and they look so similar to their fossils and their ancestors, they're actually referred to as a living fossil because they're still alive today. You can find horseshoe crabs just like this one here up along the east coast from Maine to Maryland um, and they are roughly going to be this size if not a little bit bigger and males are always smaller than females in this species. If we look up close to this horseshoe crab you may notice two bumps. Can you find those two bumps? Those are its two main compound eyes. I'm gonna to point to them right now, just in case you cannot see them. So we have one right here, and we have another one on the other side right here. So those eyes are their main eyes right on the top of their body that are seeing in different shadows or different light variations. So if you at home wanna take your hand and you're gonna close your eyes, and you are going to be staring up at hopefully a room that's being lit by a light just like my room right here. And you're gonna close your eyes and you're gonna wave your hand right in front of your face. I know it's kind of strange. Can you see your hand moving past your face without touching your face? That's how horseshoe crabs see. Great job. I hope you learned a little bit more about horseshoe crabs today. At least one new fact that you may have not known before. Thank you for watching and joining us at the Seco Science Center and have fun exploring.